is um, it's better tolerated than the old version of interferon. There's some sort of side effects, but I, I think it's, it's, it's a well-tolerated uh, drug for patients who fail the initial therapy with hydroxyurea. There was a study, a, a randomized study in, in primary in, in patients, untreated patients, um, between randomizing between hydroxyurea and pigmented interferon. I think it will probably be presented at ASH uh, this year um, by the NPD Research Consortium. And uh, there doesn't seem to be a, a difference in the two arms. Uh, and uh, of course, the side effects um, uh, is a little bit different in the two groups. But still, it's a, I personally, I've treated many patients, and I think it's a very valid option for those actually who either uh, uh, need a very high dose of hydroxyurea or cannot tolerate the drug. New drugs are coming up. Uh, this also was presented last year at ASH uh, with a B3, B53 uh, target. Uh, we will know more, I think, down the line. And there's actually a, a long list of drugs that I don't want, I didn't want to, to bore you with. Uh, there are on, on, the, on deck for, for more definitive data. Transplant, as I said before, of course, is my, my topic is it's the only it's the only curative therapy for trans for patients. And we have known now for quite some years that actually a reduced intensity condition regimen can really benefit a lot of patients up to 70 years of age. Uh, this was the initial study, the, the first prospective study done in, in Nigeria, mostly in Germany, uh, showing actually a very good outcome in, in intermediate uh, high-risk patients with a uh, model for primary neural fibrosis. This was our study showing actually that a, 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 this a patient with model fibrosis with a met sibling has over 70% probability of cure um, for monofibrosis. And um, unrelated transplant have less, it's, it's a little bit more complicated. But I think the most, uh, in, to me at least, as a transplant, the exciting uh, data in, in transplant for monofibrosis has been actually uh, the experience that was started in, in, um, in haploid transplant. Uh, as you all know, haploid haplo identical transplants are now uh, commonly done in patients with uh, any metallogenic malignancy. A uh, half transplant means actually a patient is only to be half compatible with the, with the uh, donor. So uh, any, any parent, any half sibling, or any sibling, is al almost any sibling, uh, and uh, almost any relative, over 94% of probability of hi having a half donor in the family uh, for any patient. Um, the study actually was uh, started in Italy by Andrea Pacigalupo, and uh, it's been validated not only in mild fibrosis, but also in other diseases. It's very compelling. Um, this is a study showing this is mild fibrosis patients who actually, in, uh, with a regimen that they uh, developed with fludarabine, thiotep, and busulfan, followed by post transplant cyclophosphamide, uh, has a similar uh, outcome, similar results than uh, patients uh, receiving a transplant from a met sibling. And, uh, started this actually uh, using this protocol in, in HAPA protocol, in the HAPA patient with mild fibrosis, and indeed is actually uh, very effective. So I think this is a, is a very good opportunity for many patients, especially for the younger ones or for the more fed, to actually have uh, an intermediate two or intermediate one with transfer, sign of transformation um, into intermediate two uh, to go to transplant sooner than later. 